Right. As you can see, there's plenty of snow about. Sorry, rookie mistake. Old fingers over the screen. Got plenty of snow about. But we're back out to Gunnarsad. What a contrast from last year's Gunnarsad. Contrasting my pack. I'm proper lightweight. Super light, not super lightweight, because you were super lightweight, so you'd get offended at that, wouldn't you? But proper lightweight. And the weather. We was in t-shirts last year. This year, I think I've got about five layers on. So, right. Take you out on a nice walk out on the hills. And we'll bring you back in a bit. And bringing up the rear, Bridgie! And away we go. Right, we're about 200 yards in. We've got the bags off, having a bit of a rest. <laughs> Us fit lads, it's nice to come out in this weather, but whew, you get 38 layers on it, so that's warming up. Good though, innit? And I'm a red face. I want this red when I came last time and it was red hot. <laughs> layers, it's the way forward. Loads of layers. Loads and loads of layers. Not one big jacket, loads of layers. It's a beautiful place. All looks the same with all this snow though. I'm gonna get me back on and hit the road. What's it all about, eh? Wild camping. <laughs> Wild camping with the Goonie Bushcraft. With the Goonie Bushcraft, how's that doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hero amongst men. Why, thank you. Another stop. I haven't really been done much filming because I thought the cold might kill me. No battery, but it's not as cold as what, oh, nice. what I'm thinking. The sun is booming now. Craig's been doing a bit of sunbathing. Look at that. Look at that. Lot. Wow, yeah. That's what it's all about. None of that. None of that summertime camping. <laughs> get out, get it done. It is lovely. Right. I'll bring you back on a bit more of the walks now, I think. She's going off piece. Are you going hand? Filming you, filming me. Hi. <laughs> right, I'm going to see if I can cross this with my phone in my hand.
some proper snow now. Big flakes. You can't see very far down the valley. Proper white out. This is where last time we did that. There's like a mound of rocks over there. It's where we had the Rat Pack flag. And it's where we had the group photo last time. I'm not sure we'll get onto that. I mean, that's just see down here, look. What were there? About two, three inches, something like that. Getting a good covering now. You see, it's in the beard. Father like Christmas beard getting on. So, I don't think we're going to stand still for so long. We might as well get down to where we're going and get set up and then at least we can sort ourselves out then. So, cracking. How long have we wanted this for? How long? So I'll let these ruins here look. Well, you could camp up here. But, there's nowhere to get out of it. See, lads are in there, look. It's snowing just as bad indoors. Yeah. So, right, onwards and upwards and all that jazz. Right, we're in. We're all set up. I'll take you around the Banshee crew first. Got a lot. One Banshee, Jay. Two Banshee, with Jay. <laughs> Three Banshee, the rags. Right, I'll take you over the other side. Mark's got something a bit different, I like Mark's tent. Let's go have a look at this. Woohoo! Look at this. Van Gogh lightweight to 100. Like that. Hey, guess what's here? Another banshee. Mr. Old Buscrafter's banshee, this one. There I am. Everyone said, don't buy a white tent. Be able to see it a mile off. Don't buy a white tent. Camo tent. Look at that. Look at this. Nice here. Eh? We're here. We're, here. We're doing it. Again. And just look at my wall. Look at my wall. I didn't want the snow blowing under, so I built a wall. I've only borrowed the rocks, I'll give them back. And it's that time, innit? Got set up. Cheers. Whoop, whoop. Bit of wild gravity while you're having a bit of a wild camp. Happy days. Cheers. Right, so starting to get some rub on and some bro. But I've had to have these tucked under my armpit for about 10 minutes. I mean, these say minus 27. And all the gas has froze up. Max has done the same, Craig's has done the same. This is meant to be Coleman Extreme to minus 27. Now I know it's cold, and I know we're in crap climates, but it's not that bad. It's going again, it's gone again. It's gone again, look. And it's not the stove, because everybody's doing it. And we're all on different stoves. So, I'm gonna ask try and get this gas warmed up somehow because this is just no good at all. Alright, catch you in a bit. <laughs> right, came in. It's only about quarter to five. Came in. Do a bit of admin sort on of my gear out. About half an hour ago. About 45 minutes ago. Spent about Five minutes getting all my kit out, getting sorted out. Oh. There's the snows. 
Wow. Happy with this. Happy with this. This. These. These are good pillows. But I think when you're a big lad like me, and I like to be like sort of that when I'm sleeping, especially when I get on my side or on my front. Um, they're just a bit thin, but the pack is so small, so I'm going to get another one. I'm going to rig some type of bag or band system to stick them in together so they stay together. So I'm not trying to keep them together all all night, but yeah, definitely going to get another one of these. So I've got two. I know it's not the most ultra light, he's having two pillars and it's a bit home comfortish, but here's what it is. Right, I'm going to try and drag myself out of the pit because I've had a right snooze. Nice mid afternoon snooze. So I'm going to get up, see if the other lads are snoozing or whether they're up and about. So then I'm going to crack a couple of beers. So, catch you in a bit. We've just come for a, a little mulch to try and get some blood running through our bodies again. What time is it? Like half five? Yeah. Half five. And do you know what? It's ten nice. Six. Ten to six. It's nice to get out and do these like slightly extreme camps and all that. But by heck, they're boring. Stay warm. We're all staying crusty and warm and dry and all that, but boring. That's the, that's the most exciting things happened in the last hour. <laughs> you can't even see in the distance backwards where we're camping now. And we're not that far, we're only... Yeah, 100, 200 yards max away. And you can't even see it. It is just white. Look down the valley there, look. It's just white out. So, if you're going to do these camps, make sure you've got plenty of dry gear. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five layers on. So make sure you, you're sensible. Get plenty of, plenty of layers on. And in my, my opinion, humble as it be, layers are better than one big, heavy, thick. So, but we'll just come up to check the path out for tomorrow. See how it's going, and to be fair, the path's pretty clear. So, right, I'm gonna head back down. I'm gonna see if I can get another cold beer inside me. It's, hard to, it's, it's funny when it's hard to drink beer in it. I'll catch you a bit later on. But if it's just stuck in a tent looking up at a canvas, it won't be happening. So, I'll catch you later. Right. Jane yeah, Marker, yeah, heading out. Yeah. See you later. Go yeah, steady. Go steady. Honestly, don't rush. Don't rush back no. because don't roll an ankle or fuck all like that. Yeah. All right. Go steady. Mark's got, I think, damp and cold. So when it's time, it's time. No issues at all with people heading off. Tom, you're staying three days. Pardon? You're staying three days. You've got to, yeah. And, and right now, would you, would you body's telling him to dance? <laughs> Look at this. It's, go, it's all going off. <laughs> go steady, boys. I'm not going to follow him too far because I could be on my phone for about half an hour watching these go out. So. He'll go all right getting back and I'll catch him. Tomorrow. Right, these on. I've got uh, just pick it up so you see a little bit. Pasta, chorizo, sausages. Just some uh, way getting the pasta all nice and soft. I'm not eating crunchy pasta. Got the kitchen work, got the gas all going properly. Got beer on the go. It's a bit crunchy beer, but it'd be all right. It's just a couple of them. And then a Matson's chorizo. So, right, I'm going to get this down me. And then to be fair, I'm probably going to get under some cover. So 
So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, not that you can say much. It's in there. They're in the kitchen. Just done myself a hot chocolate. Oh. And unfortunately, the type of camp where you have to hit the air early. I mean, it's pitch black now. Probably pitch black. Snow's still coming down. Just got to get wrapped up. So I'm going to get me hot chocolate. Get me the top layer off. Get the snow shook off it. Get in, get in there. Get in the bedroom. And start sorting myself out. Getting wrapped up. And have me hot chocolate. So if I bring you back in there. Bring you back. If not, I will catch you in the morrow. Extreme. Right, morning. We're not messing about this morning, as you can see. We've had, depending on your drift, where you are, we've had between probably 8 inch and 18 inch of snow. It's just mad. Bordering on stupid. So, the gear's going away. Boots are frozen solid, so I can't stop it moving because I don't want me toes to, to, to cause any damage so we're getting done we're getting off so I might not see you again if, I'll catch you in the car at the very worst but see you in a bit right that's where it was there's the pack all ready to go Greg pack Greg's pack we're just waiting on Andy to drop his tent and then we on the that side came in on this way going out over the bridge across the stream look there's a track I know you can't see it in this weather but there's a track up there a lot easier walking out than what we came in but let me just see if I can get a picture of actually how mental the snow is so if I come across here carefully down these steps and Just below the gators. Just gotta be careful weather. I mean this is mental, the thrill, the fuck it's not in there is mental. This was a little width yesterday. Right, that's where we stayed last night in the ruins. Andy. Jay was there till he went home. Would G, Mark, Craig, me. Obviously Mark went home. Mark was what I'm assuming was bordering on hypothermia, so I did the right thing, wrapped up, got going. Jay went with him because we'd never let anybody walk around on their own. So that's us. And now we're in the white way. Weathers of the extreme. Not for the faint heart, for the unprepared. This is the only show, the next few you'll get. Probably in the UK. I wouldn't have thought you'd be to camping anyway. Probably up to about, I don't know, minus 11, minus 12, I'd have thought. Certainly not for the fair minded. Let's have a little look. Probably about 120. So, we would already have visibility. Trying to get out of the wind. 
not having much of a crack. And it's early night syndrome, so. Right, I'm gonna get you away, get my hands warmed up again. Peace. Safely back to the car. Tob. Yeah. Very good, mate. Yeah, that's Bit of filming, you're filming me again. Yeah. Gosh, oh. Daddy. <laughs> is that where I'm? <laughs> <laughs> right, safe journey's on. Extreme. But luckily, we're coming down to the village, and you won't, you won't even believe from being in this village how bad the snow is here. What it's like up there. So, right, I'll take you back over my way. And the boys. It was extreme. So for extreme. Next snow camp I do, I want it to be a woodland so we can have a prop fire. Just didn't even have, like, I'm not carrying. I, I've worked hard to get my pack stars down to what it is. I ain't carrying wood to burn. And there's now up there, so. Don't plan on going up there and having a, a raid your out like that. Because it's not, he just stood about looking at the pretty scenery. <laughs> Hello. There is that. Having it. Right, thank you. Take care, mate. It's been emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crying all the time. <laughs> Craig's on the phone. Happy days. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>